Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World Daily uh, with me, John Jordan. So if you're into uh, the world of blockchain games, please do subscribe to the channel. Uh, we spend a lot of time looking at the news and playing blockchain games. So if that's your thing, uh, don't miss out. Do subscribe. But the news we're looking at today is uh, from Axie Infinity. So Axie Infinity is uh, one of the most highly regarded blockchain games. Still fairly small in terms of audience, uh, but a very committed um, user base and lots of interesting developments happening in terms of how they're trying to scale the game out. And the news today is one particular um, tech kind of a uh, development that they're doing. So we can see here they have announced uh, something about their sidechain. So sidechains are required if you're running on Ethereum because Ethereum is a, at least until Ethereum 2.0 comes in, Ethereum is a pretty slow um, proof of work blockchain. Currently, uh, dealing with very high gas prices because of all the DeFi activity that's going on. So, so some issues there around what we call scalability. Um, and people have known that for a number of years and there have been kind of solutions, what we call side, side chains or layer two solutions. Um, but that, those things are quite hard to do, especially in a general sense. So Axie Infinity was using a side chain called Loom Network. It was very popular amongst many uh, Ethereum games, but then Loom Network, um, six months ago, decided they didn't want to do games anymore. They wanted to focus on enterprise, so they pivoted, and basically all the games that were using them were a bit stuffed. And since then, a whole bunch of them have uh, gone to different solutions. Some are rolling their own, like uh, Axie Infinity is. Some have gone to uh, new providers, so there's various different providers out there of, of, these, of these layer two side, side chains. Um, but Axie Infinity has decided um, that you need to kind of create your own, which is, I um, don't know if that's right or wrong. I guess we, we would wait and see how well the Ronin uh, solution works. But what is it? So the, so the whole um, kind of kind of issue with the sidechain is you want to have something like Ethereum for uh, holding ownership of things that might be valuable. So so the most expensive Axie Infinities are worth thousands of dollars. Um, you do want to make sure um, those things are held securely. Even with Axie Infinities that are worth $10, you probably want to have a certain le level of security around that. But for things just like quick transactions, um, when you're... Uh, doing a battle in Axie Infinity, you don't really care so much about security about that. So it would be annoying if, if it was kind of hacked or or you won the battle and, and the blockchain said you lost, but but you've not lost any money sort of thing. Um, so uh, Axie have come up with this kind of Ronin thing. So let's just have a, have a quick look. So, so what are they going to try and do with this? So the most important thing is they're going to have fast, seamless transactions, almost instant confirmation. So that means um, no hanging around, waiting for the Ethereum blockchain to close or paying gas fees or drastically reduce gas fees. Um, so so um, as with all blockchains, there will be um, kind of uh, what we call validators. So, so there will be um, groups of, of people or companies um, who are running the hardware, running the computers that are required to run the blockchain and save things and find consensus, all that sort of stuff. Most important thing about a, a sidechain with Ethereum is you can easily uh, take your assets, in this case, Axie Infinity assets, uh, to the Ronin sidechain and back to Ethereum mainnet if you say you want to sell them or, or, or for any other reason transfer them. Um, and uh, simplified onboarding. So if you have a sidechain that you're running your game on, you can get new users um, and get them signed up directly onto the sidechain rather than them having to create a MetaMask account or, or any other Ethereum wallet, which is um, quite confusing for, for many people. So um, it's still early days, so we can see, um, you know, <laughs> Axie is saying why we're building this. They're kind of explaining um, kind of why. Um, it's also interesting that, um, say, Axie Infinity is saying, uh, says here, that while um, Axies can be tr are traded um, on different exchanges, I guess what they mean um, is OpenSea. So OpenSea is the biggest NFT exchange for Ethereum uh, uh, assets. Um, Axie Infinity actually has a pretty good um, internal marketplace. Um, so, so it says 97% of its volume, um, not necessarily the value, but 97% of the of the of Axie marketplace sales go through its marketplace, its own internal marketplace. So it, by running that on Ronin, it can, I, I guess, in, um, it can help the usability of that. Um, obviously, it does become an issue if people have their asset on a side chain or on a main net. Um, so that can, that creates some level of friction. We'll see how that plays out. Um, so the important thing, I guess, for people who do or ex already have um, assets in Axie Infinity, so there's axes, these little creatures, there's land, and there's land items. Actually, I have all, all of those. So these are all NFTs. 
Um, obviously, they need to be mo migrated over to the sidechain for them to work. Um, so that is always a technically uh, risky process that the things uh, may suddenly uh, disappear into the um, in, into a blockchain and never never come out again. I've not had that happen to me, but obviously, you want to be careful. Um, so uh, and and, you ha and yeah, the, the bridging mechanic between a side chain and the main chain. Um, is always a, a something that you want to be very certain works in all circumstances. Um, otherwise, you will have a lot of angry um, users. Um, and uh, yeah, as part of doing a new side chain, obviously, all the, all the contracts are going to have to be updated. Um, so, so we will see. Um, it's interesting. That there's there's nothing really um, in any detail that uh, this uh, blog post says other than mm, Axie Infinity is doing the side chain, which we already knew, and now they're calling it Ronin. I wonder if this graphic is going to show us anything. Um, this is just showing various different uh, screens. I guess this is how the process kind of works when you're um, moving things from an Ethereum wallet into the side chain. And here's a block explorer. So it is it is exciting. I mean, I guess it's kind of something that you would hope that uh, in, a, in a year's time, developers wouldn't have to deal with. It is a hassle to create these, these kind of technologies. Game developers are not necessarily the best people at creating um usable and scalable and robust technology it's not to say they can't do it um they can they can normally get something together and if you're doing something for your own game you can make that very customized um, but generally you kind of hope that there are kind of platform um providers or or, or other companies who, who spend all their time doing this in the case of ethereum sidechains that's not happened so it actually has to actually infinity has to create their own but if they want to meet their own kind of roadmap um, but I think yeah, in a year's time, probably we will see uh, kind of more of our solutions out there. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. This is Blockchain Gaming World Daily, where we have a look at the daily news of blockchain gaming. Um, if you're interested, please do subscribe. But thanks for watching the video and hope to see you again soon.